we start over. Hey, look, Mickey Mouse. All right. Well, hopefully we're recording because I want to make sure you're able to sleep when you need to by looking at the videos. All right. Let's move on. I have no idea how much fuel I have. I saw some sloshing around in there. So, yeah. All right, let me get some gasoline here and I'll meet you further down the road. I haven't ridden Cedric in a while. I don't like, I don't like the wind blast. I don't like the vibration. And it's not comfortable. <laughs> All right, just about at Jerry's here. I think I tripped the helmet lock here on my shield. Let me see. Uh, there we go. All right. Hopefully we're recording. Now let's go to Jerry's. I tell you what, the V-Straw Mr. Munch has sure, certainly ruined me when it comes to freeway or being comfortable on the street. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, scare me for a second. I thought the gate was locked. I don't blame him. I'd lock me out, too. Hey, we're going to park right here. Let's turn around. That's also me. A propane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a propane to the butt. That's for sure. What do you think? In here? Yeah. Not big enough for a car, but certainly big enough for Cedric. It's idling a little high. I have to, I have to rebuild the carburetor. Well, I have to tell you, after riding Mr. Munch for months and riding Cedric now on the street, on the freeway, yeah, I think I've... Uh, I have lost interest in even attempting to keep Mr. Cedric here for the road. And I can't see me going off-road a lot. So, I don't know. One and one is two. Well, we did survive the freeway, though. Got a new front tire, and uh, I got two new back tires at home, too. So, I have to clean him up. All right, let's go in and see if we can harass anybody. Good morning.
Hey, how about you? I know you didn't. What this morning? I think I navigated to. How about the, the ham and cheese omelet with just ham? No nice. cheese, Nothing. just ham omelet. Ham omelet. And could I for the sauce? Not for the sauce. Yeah, but instead of potatoes, can I have fruit? tomatoes? Okay. Tomatoes. And uh, what else? Right. Toast? Fruit? Yeah. Okay, let's get your fruit. Yeah. Got I'd, be, you. I'd be called worse. <laughs> Hi, good morning. I haven't been on any kind of dirt road for eons. I just want to see if it bothers my knees. Oh, well looky here we have quite a stream and quite a bit of junk too but yeah why not Joe <laughs> no actually I think I'd rather work on Mr. Munch than drop the bike underwater so that's that's running pretty good all right you know it's just not I can already feel my knees hurting just in that little teeny bit of whoop de doo there, uh, you know? Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I wanted to take Cedric for a ride to kind of finalize what I'm thinking. Going to run to Starbucks and get me a, a big iced green tea to begin the work on Mr. Munch with. Just got back from breakfast. I'm going to shoot all this on GoPro if I can. That way there won't be, shouldn't be any issues on uh, frame rates. The difference between frame rates on the iPhone compared to the uh, GoPro. So if I shoot it all on GoPro uh, and not try to mix GoPro and iPhone video, we should be okay. Other than the content and the person doing it, we should be okay. <laughs> all right. Let me see if I can get you adjusted up here a little bit. Anyway, today is the day. Today is kind of D-Day. I have to work on Mr. Munch, or at least look at the valves. I watched a video last night. The guy, young guy did the valves, and he had to set almost every one of them. And, uh, and at the very, and at the very end, he ended up stripping a bolt or something. Boy, he was... He was, thro he was throwing tools across the garage. He was kind of upset, big time. So, I promise, no profanity. And if I throw anything, I won't throw it toward you, okay? I'll be very careful and very sensitive to you. <laughs> All right. All right, let me get to this silly Starbucks place here. 
Now, I'm glad I took Cedric to uh, breakfast today. It really solidified my decision to sell him. Uh, yeah, if I lived on a dirt road, it might be different. But I'm always going to the same places. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't justify the, the insurance and the registration and all of that. So, yeah, and I forgot how, how windy it is without a fairing. I forgot how much vibration there was without another, an extra cylinder with one cylinder. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, but that's first things first. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to start looking at valves. Well, we have to. We have to. Keep a stiff upper lip. All right. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do the back cylinder first. It's easiest. It's probably easiest to check. It's right there in the open. Uh, if, if it's within spec, we just put the, the valve cover back on it and we're done. Same for the, the front cylinder too. So, all right. I'll see you back at the house in the garage. Mr. Munch was quivering. He's he's uh he's nervous. He's nervous. Looking forward to getting Mr. Munch this part of him settled. Then I can change the oil and the filter, and then next week we could get tires. And uh yeah, we'd be ready to take at least a short trip somewhere. I feel like I'm going to the doctors. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have here. See how we look. All right. Rear cylinder. I just want to get the camera angle correct here for you. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Yeah, it looks like a pollution reed valve right there. I'll put these screws back in. That's to try not to lose them. If you can see any of this or not, I hope so. I'll just put them in here a bit. Yeah, it looks pretty clean in there. I'm going to put this off to the side here. Actually, we're going to put it back here. How about that? That sounds good. All right. All right. Spark plug wire. Put this guy back here. All right. I know these here have a uh, have a specific torque setting. <clears throat> okay.
I'm sure I'll have. Oh, look at that. Mm. here neither of those plugs were very very tight at all Can you see that one? Oh, you can see you can see what happens. The front cylinder gets water in there. Look at look at the rust on the plug. Hmm. I think there's a drain off to the side. There's supposed to be. Anyway, we'll check it later on. That's not priority. Yeah. Ten millimeter. This is gets to the crankshaft so we can turn the motor over. That's why we pulled the plugs out uh, right here so we could see the marks on the uh, on the stator. This is eight millimeter. So we're gonna pull these two guys off so we can turn the motor over so we can spin it counterclockwise to turn the motor over, which in turn will move the cams to a position where we can check the valve clearance. Okay? Yeah. We'll like do a little that. washed out. Got too much, way too much glare and too much skin here. But let me see if I can get you a a looky loo at the at the cams, okay? Down in there, there right behind that screw there or that little dowel. There's a there's a lobe, and uh, right over there. So we have to turn the motor over, and they're going to move, and we'll get them in the right position. I better do some looking in the book. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. We got a Starbucks going. We got our tools up here. We got things happening here. I have to get my iPad because I've taken screenshots of the uh, the Suzuki manual for where to position the crankshaft to check the cam uh, to valve clearances. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me let me find my iPad. <laughs> hey, buddy. Say hi. Yeah. All right, hang you on. Rotate the crankshaft counterclockwise, which in turn, if you can see in there, it turns the cam chain and cam chain turns the cam. All right. Yeah, all right. Hang in there, hang in there. Four to eight on the intake. This is the intake, four to eight. So that ideal would be six. So, Let's try, let's try six. Okay, that goes in. That goes in. All right, at least they're not too tight. Let's go to, uh, six, hang on a second. Here's seven. A little big, but there's seven. Uh, no, won't go. Seven. It just barely goes. All right, seven. And looks like that one's six. Uh, tight seven. All right, 
tight seven, a good six. Get right back to you. So this, this is the intake side. So ideally we're looking for six. That's ideal. And it goes in easy. Seven. That's a nice, that's a seven. Let's try eight. No. Seven. So left front, rear cylinder is seven. Okay, the right side. There's no way a seven's going in there. Let's try a six. Six. Looks good. Seven's tough. Six. Left front. Rear cylinder, six. Okay, now we're gonna look at three and four. Okay, three and four. Exhaust. We're looking for exhaust. We're looking for 10. Ideal. Let's see where we are. Eight to 12. Here's eight. That goes in. That's good. Better too loose than too tight. So there's an eight. I should just pull these all out individually. All right, let's try a nine exhaust. That's good. You're going from the back side here. Nine is easy. Let's try a 10. 10 would be ideal for the exhaust. 10 and it's easier to go in the back way no 10 is not going to do it there but the left side exhaust we have 10 let me write it down Left side exhaust, All right? Left side exhaust. We have 10. I write that down. Number three is 10. Okay, now the right side exhaust, we're looking for 10, ideal, no, 10's not going to go, No, 
nine. Perfect. Nine is good. Okay. Okay, so if you can see it or not, so rear cylinder intake number one is seven, we're looking for six. Number two is six, which is spot on right in the middle of the range. Exhaust, we're looking for 10. We have a 10, and uh, number four is nine. So we're, we're in spec. Rear cylinders look, looks good. So I'm happy about that so far, so far. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna button this cylinder up, um, other than the spark plug, because I, I don't, we're not gonna touch this at all. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna let, nah, you know what? Let's just keep it open, just in case. Well. So far, the rear cylinder looked good. The rear cylinder looked really good, well within spec. This is the front cylinder. All right. Front cylinder, the forward exhaust valves, 10 and 10, that's ideal. Eight to 12 is the spec. The front cylinder intake valves are six and seven. Ideal is six, really good. The rear cylinder intake, once again, ideal is six. We got six and seven. Exhaust, ideal is 10. We got nine and 10. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> we'll see if it goes back together because I'm gonna turn the motor around one full revolution again, double check them again. And uh, yeah, if that's good, we'll start buttoning up Mr. Munch. Man, thanks for helping me out. Hey, just for that, Let's let's take it. Let's take a break here. Let's take a drink. So, in reality, um, ten, ten, six, seven. Not not one of the valves in the motor is more than one thousandth of an inch out of ideal. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to spin it around one more time. Um, I sure hope I had everything in the right place when I checked them. <laughs> Probably did. All right. All right. Okay, Mr. Klaus. After we get Mr. Munch together, we're going to take your legs out of there and put them back on you. All right. Looking forward to that job, too. I'm, I'm so glad these are close. If, if I had to take one and pull those camshafts out... I wouldn't be real happy, but you were here to help me, so that's good. We got the professionals on the, on the other side of this camera, you know, the professionals. How do you know they're a professional? By that. All right. All right. Ten foot-pounds. I'm ready to torque the valve cover down, but you know what? I'm going to take it off again. I don't want to try to get in here again, and I want to make sure that those dowel pins didn't fall out. I just got to check. They probably didn't, but how my mind works, and some of you guys... It would bother me every time I rode the thing, thinking there could be a dowel pin in there floating around in the motor. So I'm going to take it apart again. Let me show you. Got the front of the motor, the uh, valve cover, connectors, coolant tank, and, and also, 
you know, I couldn't I couldn't have done this without some without one fatality. <clears throat> yeah. The the entire T went went down the driveway. Oh well. Wrestling the radiator into this place here. <clears throat> I really hope it 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 goes in better than it came out. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm just glad that the uh, that the valves looked good. The uh, the adjustments looked good because if they didn't, that's a whole new can of worms. All right, our friend, Mr. Radiator. Yep, this guy. Gonna go in there. <laughs> yeah. Famous last words, he says. All right. I certainly hear a noise. Looking for leaks, other than me. Let it warm up. Yeah, I got good valve clearances. Got fresh antifreeze. Yeah. Next thing, oil change and two new tires. And we're good. been running for quite a while it's getting hot the fan hasn't come on yet yeah it looks uh Looks liquid tight so far. Yeah, the fan just came on. That's good. I wanted to get it good and hot, see if the fan worked and came on. It did. Hey, Rob, it works. It went together just gloriously. Gloriously. It's the hat, Rob. It's the hat. See you later. <laughs>